All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're doing a super quick grocery haul video here. And I wasn't really planning on doing a grocery haul video today. We were just gonna grab a couple things from the store, literally a couple things. But we found a bunch of stuff on clearance and some coupon items. So I'm gonna show you what we have. I feel like I, we bought enough to actually do a grocery haul. I'm gonna start with the basic stuff here. Just some almond milk. Just Walmart generic almond milk. Um, we use it for coffee, for cooking, all kinds of stuff. You know the deal. Um, frozen vegetables, we got some broccoli and we got some cauliflower. Nothing too special there. Now these guys is something that Inga wanted to buy. They're the alphabet uh, noodles because she wants some sort of vegan alphabet soup. So I'll have to work on that this week, of course. We got some tricolor coleslaw. Got some Jolly Time popcorn here. That way we can make our own popcorn and not have to uh, buy the expensive popcorn. Now these were quite the deal over at Walmart here. These uh, Daya Fiesta breakfast burritos. We ended up getting a couple of them here. They were 72 cents each. A lot of this stuff, I don't know why they were clearancing it off, but they were. So we grabbed a bunch of stuff that we maybe normally wouldn't buy. Uh, these guys, I use these for uh, if we're out hiking or exploring, adventuring, some body armors here. I like the Mamba Forever flavor, the strawberry grape, and uh, blue raspberry is pretty good too. This one I haven't had yet. Apparently it has caffeine and electrolytes, so we'll see about that. Inga likes these ones here, the tropical coconut and the peach mango. She likes the low calorie ones. I, uh, I prefer the extra calories from the sugar there to be honest. And some celery here, some green giant celery. Coincidentally enough, we passed by the uh, town in Minnesota where there really is a giant, jolly green giant that you can go and visit. Got these Gardein turkey cutlets here. We got a couple packages actually, two packages. They were on clearance for like $3.60. So um, not dirt cheap, but still like $1.50 off what they normally are. A couple heads of lettuce. Again, Green Giant. Shout out to uh, the Jolly Green Giant there. We've got some Morningstar Farms maple flavored sausage patties. Don't think that we've ever had these before, but um, they were on clearance for $2.60, so I nabbed them up. These Gardein ready-made skillet meals. We ended up getting a couple flavors. We got the uh, rigatoni and sausage and the plant-based chicken florentino. We actually got two of the chicken florentinos. They were on sale for $1.96 each. Now, I want to say normally these guys are like five or six bucks. So we had the chance to get several of them and we had room in the freezer so we figured why not even though it's not really something that we would eat very often. We, especially with pasta, we normally just make it ourselves because that's something that's pretty easy. Speaking of which, we did get some pasta sauce for when we do want to make our pasta ourselves. Here's another body armor here. Another thing on clearance, we got two packages of these Morningstar Vegetizers, veggie pepperoni, vegan pizza bites, veggie pepperoni pizza bites. It's a mouthful right there. And these were on sale for, I think they were like $1.99 or $1.90. It was an odd amount. So a good deal for those. Those are normally four or five bucks, I want to say. Some tomatoes. Just needed to replace the can that I had just used when I made soup yesterday. Coffee. Um, this is one of our favorite coffees of the donut shop kind. It's pretty good. Over here, some more produce here, just some baby carrots. This is like a two or three pound bag. Looks like a two pound bag of baby carrots. Just another pasta Florentino. Now this is from Hy-Vee. Grabbed a couple things from Hy-Vee. Most of this is from Walmart, but a couple things from Hy-Vee here. Just some pasta sauces. They were on sale. I don't remember how much they were, but they were actually cheaper than the ones that we got over here. Also this Jiffy cornbread mix was at Hy-Vee. We had a coupon, it was like 28 cents. So that was a good deal. There was only a limit of one, so you can only grab one, but still, good deal. Same with this uh, tomato sauce. I think it was like 39 cents or something like that, and there was a limit of one, but might as well grab it while we can. Pizza crust from Hy-Vee. 
Don't remember the price on that, but again, it was super cheap. Grabbed it after I checked in, made sure it was vegan. There was no like whey or any kind of milk products in there. Some raisins, just normal dried raisins. Walmart has really good raisins, which is hard to believe, but it's true. These uh, refried beans here, Normally we go for the other brand, but we decided to go with this one. The ingredients are very simple. It's literally just cooked beans, water, and salt. So super simple refried beans. Not a lot of added junk in there. These Guardian chicken sliders were on sale for $1.60, um, which again is, don't know why these ones were so cheap versus the uh, turkey cutlets or whatever. Not sure on that. However, still fantastic deal. These are normally four or five dollars or whatever they are. And again, not really something that we eat very often. Um, we've been kind of avoiding the vegan junk food for the most part. But for a dollar sixty, we figured we'll keep them in the freezer and eat them when we can. We've got some Hidden Valley Plant Powered Ranch. Uh, this is Inga's favorite dressing here, and even I use this one occasionally. It's pretty dang good. Um, I prefer to use the Follow Your Heart Ranch, but it's like double the price, unfortunately. It's like $5 for a little bottle where we can get this one for, I think it's like $3. So a little bit better of a deal there. Got this Amy's Thai Red Curry. This is another thing that they had on clearance. It was $1.49 which again, these Amy's meals are usually like five bucks. Um, now we don't actually own a microwave, so I'm gonna end up having to cook this in the oven. I guess it does say that there, you can cook this in the conventional or toaster oven, so that's good. Um, and same with all the other stuff that we bought. Because we don't own a microwave, we don't buy that much frozen vegan junk food anymore. We just don't. Um, it's, it's actually helped not owning a microwave in that sense. We save a lot of money and probably eat a lot healthier as a result. But either way, a couple cans of white kidney beans. Um, we were thinking about making like a, a bean dip, um, almost like a hummus type bean dip with these. We'll see what we end up actually doing with them. Some quick oats. This is one of Inga's like favorite breakfasts at this point. It used to be mine. I used to eat oats a lot too but I don't really that much anymore. I think it's kind of like bananas. I ate so much of them that I'm just kind of like over it for a while. And then I'll probably go back on a little phase where I eat quick oats and bananas all the time, but I'm not quite there yet. Got these diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'm probably just gonna use these in chili that I'm gonna make later in the week. Probably gonna do a black bean and corn chili. I believe I already have a recipe video out on that, so I'm probably not gonna do another recipe video. Some canned fruit, not really gonna go through all the different ones, but there's four different cans of canned fruit. And we got these Progresso Hearty Vegetarian Vegetable with Barley soups. I wanna say these were like $1.99 each. Uh, we don't really buy that much canned soup. Um, you might have seen that on our last grocery haul where we had a lot of canned soups, but that's because we were going on the road trip and we were doing a lot of cooking over campfires where cooking inside the can and just eating out of the can was the way to go. Normally I make soup myself because it's super easy and we have the instant pot. All right, that's it. That's what we got today. Lots of stuff, a lot of really good deals to be honest. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this and you wanna support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time guys, take care.